today I'm going to show you how to make a waxed linen knotted cowrie shell necklace. So I'm starting just with our tan wax linen. This is a 10 foot section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. So the easiest way to do that is to bring both ends and I'm going to go ahead and put a swivel clasp on it. You could use a lobster clasp as well. And I'm going to put that all the way down at the end. Then I'm just going to tie an overhand knot. And I'm going to kind of scooch it or roll it towards the lobster clasp. Then I'm going to thread on one of my cowrie shells. And I'm going to pull it all the way down against that section where the clasp is. Then with my other piece of wax linen, since I folded the piece in half, I have two segments to work with. I'm gonna crisscross it. So it's kind of like making a figure eight in the shell. See that there? Then I'm gonna just tighten it up. And right here at the tip of the cavity shell, I'm gonna tie another overhand knot. I like to make it over my finger and then kind of roll it down against the shell. Like so. Here's a segment that I already had started. So I've just come up with not necessarily a pattern, but I've mixed in some Chinese crystals and some polymer clay. This is the Half Moon Bay color. I thought this was good, kind of beachy, summery feel. Um, and on the crystal pieces, I'm only having one piece go through the crystal, just so you have a little more exposed wax linen. So you can see it might be hard on the, on the crystal. Um, but I'll string just one piece on there. And I'm going to go all the way down. And then the other piece of the wax linen just goes beside it. Then the overhand knot. Oh, and these are our backless cowrie shells. We also sell another variety, but it's not backless. For this technique, you will want the backless style. So we'll just scooch that down. And then we'll string on our other cowrie shell. And try to be conscious of lining up the same ends of the cowrie shells if that is your style. So I want to go kind of the, the wider end first. I've gone through. And then with the opposite thread, I'll come up through the center. Just there and another knot. You could definitely do this for a bracelet as well. And with the swivel clasp on mine, I could always hang a charm from the center, but that's completely optional. I'm up, now I'm gonna put the polymer clay on. For the polymer clay, I do like to have both threads through it, but you could definitely go around it like I did with the cr Chinese crystal. So I have, I'm doing five pieces of polymer in between each section so that it's substantial enough to appreciate the color, but not too long that it takes away from the cowrie shells. So you'll keep going in that same manner until you get the desired effect. And then at the very end, you'll just tie a knot onto a jump ring, and that'll be how it'll clasp to the swivel clasp. Just like that. You have a fun summery piece.